Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I make an attempt to explain the difference between offset method and the position method in jQuery so let's start and understand that. In the HTML panel which is on the right hand side I'm going to type in dot uh, wrapper and should have some children a child basically I'm using uh, you know Emmet uh, it's a code assist plugin inside code pen which is an online editor you'll soon see what I mean so I want a div with a class of wrapper to have another div with a class of box tab so guys uh, if you are a little surprised to what happened just use them at a code assist plugin to code out real quick right now that I have uh, my classes ready I need to define them so let's bring up the CSS panel uh, again guys this is code pen it, uh, it has three panels CSS, JS and HTML and hence it allows you to uh, code out uh, this way okay not the normal way that you're so used to seeing maybe people doing it in Dreamweaver or code or sublime text etc this works a little differently so let's uh, do the CSS okay so how about a reset rule you know let me say asterisk p0 plus m0 margin 0 padding 0 for everything that's the first thing uh, next the wrapper class wrapper okay so width 250 hmm, plus height to 50 plus um, background tab so that gives me a background of black with 250 height 250 cool let's proceed and how about uh, M 100 margin of 100 all around that's good I'm gonna push the division downwards at the same time guys notice I'm setting the position to a relative okay so it's not static anymore the default is actually static but just setting the position absolutely you know relative will not move it anywhere else okay <clears throat> this is uh, for the wrapper and let's you know write the CSS for the box as well boxes I'm gonna keep a little smaller how about with 200 plus the height of 200 tab and a background of let's say a 222 <coughs> okay I'm gonna go back out here I'm gonna set a padding of 25 mm. in which case let's set this back to a 200 as well mm. and this 200 as well okay fine so the wrapper with 200 height 200 which is the same as for the box the only difference is that for the wrapper I have a padding of 25 p uh, pixels which I don't have for the box that's, that's one difference the wrapper has a margin the box does not have a margin okay and the wrapper actually shares a position relative which the uh, box does not have so let's save the document at this point and let's uh, bring up the JS panel let's start to code out okay that's the first line of code guys as I, uh, I, I told you that I'm looking to get the uh, offset and the positions of the box box was the inner division okay now before I, I, I go on completing the uh, you know the JS I need to connect the latest version of jQuery which I've already done okay cool so basically I'm declaring a variable offset and I want that variable to store the offset position of the box what do I mean by that things will become very clear very soon not only that I'm declaring yet another variable pause and through that variable I would want uh, it to store the positions of the box now whether it's the offset method that I'm using or whether it's the position method that I'm actually using 
both these methods will to save two coordinates let me repeat that again whether it's the offset method that I'm using and whether it's the position method that I'm using both these methods allow you to save two coordinates the left and the top right and we are looking to get the left and the top of the box which is the inner division not the outer division right so let me uh, bring in the next line of code now this is how you actually get so next line of code actually says alert offset dot left so basically get the offset left of the box and the alert clearly says 125 comma 125 so the left and the top of the box is actually 125 each so this distance is 25 and this distance is 100 so basically um, we get to see the offset from in relationship to the document relative to the document from the top left edge of the document so it's got to be 125 travel from this point to this point 25 px and travel from this point to you know the base no I'm sorry uh, from here to here it's 125 and from here to here it's actually 125 so the inner division is actually offset from the document window the viewport by these many pixels so that's the reason the alert says 125 comma 125 the comma comes from here offset left offset is this variable and the left value is 125 and the offset dot top value is also 125 okay let's bring in the next line of code and let's see how that actually makes a difference now I wish to alert the position left and position top so this is offset left top and this 2525 is actually position left top see pause was the position of the box so that's the difference. The position is actually getting the coordinates in relationship to the first parent. That's either absolute relative. Uh, that's absolute relative, but not static. See if I show you the HTML, <coughs> rather CSS, and uh, close this bit. Close this bit. You can actually see that the wrapper is relative. If I were to ch you know change it back to static, you know you need the wrapper to be either relative, fixed, or absolute, and then uh, the position property gets the coordinates in relationship to the the box. Otherwise, if I were to remove it, let's say like this, if I were to save it, and if I were to refresh. Now let's see what are the different coordinates that I get. 125, 125, 125, 125. Okay, so to get the position in relationship to the parent, make sure that you don't keep it static, which is the default. Keeping it empty is keeping it static. And that's why turning it relatively, I could have, you know, even kept it at absolute. Anything but static which is the default nothing mentioned is actually static so let's do a refresh once again so it should be 125 125 and 25 25 expectedly okay let's bring up the JS code JS panel in front of you okay so have a uh, you know good nice look people variable to save the offset coordinates of the box another variable to uh, save the uh, coordinates of the box but which ones through the position method so these are the you know the position method looks for the first uh, positioned parent when I say the first positioned parent the parent which is either uh, relative absolute or fixed failing which it will uh, behave the same way as the offset method actually does so people I hope you found this information useful uh, please do like the video, thumb the video, and please do subscribe if you already haven't. Uh, share the video as well. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.